the introduction of IP, the shift in technologies resulting in all these overlays, right? Mm -hmm. If we look at GSM, we've gone from 2G to 2.5G to 3G. There's all this complexity coming into the core. So what, 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 how do you feel this affects the engineering? Absolutely, Peter. This affects the engineering. What hap what's happening, basically, is we had circuit switch design. We went out and allocated uh, tr uh, trunk groups and, and uh, circuits to service voice traffic. Today we have a lot of data traffic emerging, specifically with these new devices such as the iPhone coming out, where the, the intuitiveness of using the, the device makes it easier to surf the Internet. So what happens, though? Is as, a, as an engineer in the network, you've got to understand, how do I design a data or IP-based network? And the, the question comes around the fact that you need to understand what is the quality of service that you're trying to deliver. For example, quality of service for data is, is different than voice. And voice right. is, uh, but you've still got voice there. As yeah, well, of course, of course so. and you've got to buy them both. But the, 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 com the message I'm trying to make here is that Data services are, are you know can have handle more delay. For example, in a voice circuit network, you are in the order of uh, 250 milliseconds in delay. But in data uh, data network, you can handle 50 mil, uh, 500 milliseconds or a, a second of delay for browsing the web. So how do you go off and manage characterizing each of these services you're going to deliver and understand how you're going to engineer it on, onto your network? This is a big question for a lot of the engineers out there today. Yeah, that, that, that certainly is a big challenge. So, what are your thoughts on how you can go about doing that? So, I think we need to go back and systematically define, and I'm not sure that we've done this as an industry, define each of the service, whether web browsing, okay. Uh, what is my, you know, how much bandwidth do I want to get through and what time delay uh, in terms of streaming uh, uh, potentially video over the web? Um, in terms of looking at uh, you know stock quotes and information people are getting, so what is the definition of that service, and then understanding how that service is going to uh, behave over the network. One of the biggest things we've seen, one of all the analysis we've done, Peter, is that the busy hours of the network for data surfing and internet surfing are different than voice traffic fundamentally. So now we have a complexity of not only multi uh, services with different quality of quality of uh, service demand, but also diff occurring at different hours, right? So these are kind of things that are going to be challenging for the engineer to design. Yeah, so these are two of the big dynamics really affecting design, the proliferation of services, right, that you have to understand in order to plan the capacity and performance of the network, and also the time of day factor for demand on those services. And, and another interesting thing emerging here is now I have all this infrastructure and I put all this investment, right, because the technology is changing and we keep on adding more and more technologies of different uh, levels. We're going from 2.5 to 3G. What's happening is how do I get more revenue out of, my, out of my network? Those are things that are occurring. So when some of it, we're working with some service providers where they're doing innovations in terms of what other information and services can I offer to the public to generate revenue over my network. Right, right. And, and another point connected to that is, you know, the new technologies have uh, increasingly short lifespan, right? There, there's this acceleration in uh, technology that means, you know, when you make these significant investments in new technology, you really need not only to address these new dynamics that you've talked about, but also you need to try and get return on those investments relatively quickly before the next technology comes along. Right? So, so we, and, and here's the challenge with all that is that, in the, for example, in the North American market, which we do a lot of work in today, there's a flattening of the number of subscribers. The subscriber growth is flattening because we're reaching saturation of customers, right? right? right. So here comes the emergence of how do I generate more revenue? Machine-driven traffic. For example, reporting of, of uh, uh, metering of electric uh, reporting of other uh, information that needs to flow back into, uh, like from a uh, vending machine, such as a Coke machine, right? Reporting back of the num the quantity of uh, cans in the the inventory of the system, and reporting back when I need to refill it. These kind of these kind of applications, which I call machine devices, going onto the onto the network, are going to be some of the key drivers of future revenue for the for markets where you have saturation in customers. Yeah, and to your point, earlier point, again, this that's another proliferation in services that haven't existed before that mean engineers have to plan for the delivery of those services and the performance of those services. And, and again, and those may have different, and this is where this multi-service uh, hour may occur, is that they may have 
at different uh, times of day exactly when they occur. For example, some of these metering type of capabilities that we're talking about with some of our customers today uh, may occur in the night hours, right? The reporting back, of, for example, of electrical usage or water usage may occur at uh, midnight or 12. So you have a different busy hour for traffic of that type of service, just like we have different busy hours for the, the data traffic. Right, right. And the important thing, of course, is not... Ideally, you don't want all of these colliding in the, in the same busy hour, which means you build a network for that peak demand that's potentially not fully utilized at other times of the day. Right? Exactly. It's all about getting revenue out of your network at different times of the day because you already have the infrastructure sunken. Right? Right. So how can we help the customers do that? So, again, the ideas are limiting number of, uh, you know, we're reaching saturation of our current customer base of people. We need to look at machines and other devices we can generate revenue for. I mean, a perfect example of this is, for example, security systems, right? A lot of the security systems in the U.S. are starting to go wireless because they're, they're much more um, susceptible, they're less susceptible for wire cut and, and burglary. So you have devices that are going to communicate and reporting back information about your house. 